Don't get in if you're moving the car. I'm not. Oh, these are rings. No. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Weekend edition again. This time we're doing a QA and a and a bit of pumpkin picking. So we're doing our annual pumpkin carving competition. Last year we did one. I can't one. believe how hot it is. Like last oh, no, year it was like raining and wet. Yeah, we were in trainers this year. It's happy days. But um, yeah, last year, last year we did like a carving con contest. Carving? Carving. Carving. Carving contest. This year we're going to do the same, but we're doing a Q&A. So I'd ask the old Instagram followers for a few questions. So we'll sit down and do them as we're doing our carving. We found our pumpkins. We found a lovely some bunch of them. Some good Show them some good ones. I can't remember whose is whose. I don't know, I think we're gonna work out which one's best and I'll have it. And then you can have the rest. But these are like <laughs> the first ones we found, but then we decided we'd go in there and get some aesthetically pleasing photos for the old gram. Uh, yeah, so sit back, relax, enjoy the Q&A, and enjoy the carving. The carving. Carving, parving. Carving, parving, pumpkin carving. But it's all right, and you're showing up. But it's all right, it's a short life. Okay, so pumpkins are picked, just taken the tops off, and now it's ready. Taking out the gross stuff, we? Yeah, and now we're ready to carve, get into it, and answer this Q&A. So what we've done is, we've put them onto my notes. Um, yeah, and we'll just answer them as we go. So, we also want a uh, competition vote down below, who has the best pumpkin in I'll the end. the best side, I think that's the best bit. So it might not, yeah. look, not look so good for that. This, this is the good side. I might just go for one of these. So we got a stencil kit, but I'm not Keep playing it safe. It. I'm going for a big. Although it's not that big. I mean, maybe it might do the ghost, you know. Yeah. How would I stick it on though? Do I just draw around it? Yeah, just draw around it. Okay. I'm going for a big, huge mouth. I oh, know, that's sick. That'll do. Right, let's do a question. Okay. So. Uh, so I said I asked for general fitness, lifestyle, couple questions, just the, the full shebang. So first question was, uh, favourite person or person you'd most like to collab with? Um, and I think Am you I know, answering these as yeah, well? Yeah, you, you got to answer them. Um, I guess if you follow the channel, you know for me, it'd be Guzman, probably closely followed by Rob, because I think they're both just sound guys, so it'd be sick to just collab with them. So yeah, they're top of my list. Beth. Um, does it have to be like a YouTuber? Uh, yeah. Um, well, the only people I really watch... Riley Curry Fitness. Riley Curry Fitness. Um, I like Lydia Elise Millian. Oh, Riley Who's that? Her handbag lady. Handbag lady, yeah. Because she's got all the designer handbags. Yeah. Um, no. Right, smaller channels that we watch on YouTube. Do you watch any small YouTubers? Um, oh, and sorry, we'll go back to the last question. Shane Dawson, I freaking love him. Well, after a Shake Pool series. Shake Pool series, so good, good series, guys. If I watch that, really good. What is it all about? Uh, if, if he's if a he's a sociopath. Yeah. Really interesting, isn't it? Like smaller channels. I watch a lot of smaller fitness YouTubers because I like to support them and get their ideas. So you've got people. Like Rock O'Connor, who I met in uh, Texas. I watched Jamie Muller, workout coach. Uh, I also watched Jack Husband quite a lot. Who? Jack Husband, these are all just smaller YouTubers that are into I the think it's Jack's husband. Jack Husband. Oh, cool. um, George Fit. So, all those lads that I'm, I would like to link up with, collab with, Dion Fitness as well. So, yeah, just the smaller guys in the community that I'm trying to sort of branch out with and, and link up with. So, they're all good. So. I would have probably put their uh, profiles up as I was saying their name, so go and check them out if you haven't already, they're solid channels. Oh, first impression of each other. Sorry, I'm cutting out these bits. Yeah, of course you are. First That's impression of each other. Um, I thought Riley was cool because of the car. <laughs> I 
So I went to college a year later. We met at college and he was like, do you want to come with my car with me? I was like, One of those ones. Or did you have a little Clio? A little Clio. It's quite nice. Because I was obviously... Crashed that. There's a photo of me crashing it. Not funny. Um, I was a year younger, so I hadn't started learning to drive yet, so I thought you were really cool. I liked your shoes because you had a nice pair of wash runs on. Yeah. Nice hearing you right and smoke you. Those are the days. Favourite shoes you own? Let's try and answer each other's. Okay. Um, oh, does this include the shoes you just bought? Yeah. Your favourite, not necessarily wear the most, but your favourite, 97s. What are they? <laughs> For God's sake, Ross. <laughs> the ones that we got in Dunwall. Yeah, they're cool. I like them. Yeah? I don't know if I'd say they're my favourite. What are your favourite then? I might be really boring and just say like my black man. Oh, that's so basic. Yeah, they're unreal. just like such easy shoes to wear. Actually, I really like the ones you got me that I went to the gym. What are they? Maybe that's something. Yeah, ultra boosts. Um, yours. Oh, this is hard. Because you're a lot of shoes. I think right now the white ones that you just got. Nope. Oh, easy. Yeah. It's such a expensive taste for it, aren't you? But I don't like the fact that now everyone can buy easy, so... Well, not the pair you've got. Yeah, I know, but they're just like... Kanye's just made them a basic shoe now. <laughs> Why have I fucked this all <laughs> I'm really to get this through. When are we having babies? Oh, God. <laughs> if it was Riley's choice, tomorrow. Correct. Um... You're literally right, the most greedy person I've ever met. Anyone else like that? Anyone I'm else a little bit more practical. Young? Oh no, don't get me wrong, I'd love to have children. I always get day. told off at work for one of the baby young. One day. Yeah, he sends me all these pictures of him like carrying his clients' babies. Um, yeah, but it'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be nice one day. One day? Soonish. No, not any time. We don't even have a house yet. Uh, what do I use to edit photos? This is quite a good question. Uh, so I've recently got a new editing app. It's called VSCO. I'll put a little picture on the screen. They, they have a free one, but I paid like 18 pound for a year and it just has like, loads and loads and loads of filters and really good ways to edit photos. Uh, Jack actually showed me that. And I've been using that recently. JWH. Yeah, JWH, big shout out. Um, and I've been using that recently and I think it's really, really good. He makes the Instagram game shoot up a notch, so wow. it's got like £18 for a year, that's a solid investment. Thoughts on intermittent fasting and fasted cardio? So, good question. So, intermittent fasting is basically, intermittent fasting. <laughs> so it's basically when you only eat for a certain amount of time throughout the day. So, normally a fasting window would be, say, from 11am in the morning up until 8pm. So then you're fasted from 8pm right the way through to 11am. Um, I sort of do that sometimes at work. Yeah, so it's quite a good way, uh, a technique, when you're cutting, basically because you're having the same amount of calories in a smaller window of time, so you just feel less hungry during that period. Um, and I use it when I get deep into a cut. It doesn't affect like the amount of in the calories you're intaking, it just means that you're having the same calories just over a shorter period of time, therefore you feel less hungry throughout the day. Uh, and then what's the other one? Fast cardio. Fast cardio is just, I sort of don't really do, if I was going to do cardio in the morning, I would tend to fast because I feel better for it, but it doesn't matter if you can't do cardio in the morning, afternoon, evening, fasted, non-fasted. As long as you're getting cardio in, I think it's just decent. So yeah, good fitness question. I detest cardio. Best training program to build muscle. So another fitness question. Um, there's no such thing as a decent trick. Well, a training program to build muscle. You need to make sure you're doing progressive overload in the gym. So one week you're working to say you're doing. Let's just talk about bench press. Say you're doing 90 kilos for four sets of six. The next week you want to be trying to progress that. So you do 90 kilos for three sets of seven, four sets of seven, or 92 for sets of five. Stuff like that. Just progressing in the gym. Just don't stay stagnant. And one thing I will say is make sure you're training every muscle group twice a week. Try not, like, 
you want to be training every muscle you try. So if you're only training at once, it's too long time to rest. How would you do that? Say, if, like, because like I couldn't do that. Yeah, no, but you could. So say, if, say if you could only go to the gym three times a week, you do full body, full body, full body, uh, and train your mu each okay, mu a different okay. exercise for each muscle. Okay. So let's just once again let's talk about chest. If you did three full bodies, one day you focus on a press, one day you focus on a fly, and the next day you focus on what you feel like. But you're just doing three movements, like activating that muscle three times. Okay. Okay, Chaffield? I always think, <laughs> Chaffield, I always think um, like when you work out a muscle, or like you just do that muscle. No, that's I the worst thing to do. Like, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, am I going to compete next year? Yeah, I'm at a really annoying phase at the minute where I haven't been very well for probably about two weeks and I'm really pissed off because I want to be packing on the calories and eating and progressive overload in the gym and training hard but I haven't been able to do that just because I keep, every time I get a bit of momentum I keep falling unwell which is unfortunate but yeah. He's just, you're not very good at resting, you need yeah. to take more time to recover when you're ill when you don't. Mm, but so you just get worse. Yeah, 20... 19 I will for sure be competing in a show. I don't know whether I don't know where or what it will be in but well physique for sure but yeah which is gonna be an exciting time so obviously I'll document the whole thing on the channel so if that's something you're interested in hit that subscribe button. Favourite thing or place or thing to do on a date? Go on you go for this one first. Um, well our, we're quite lazy aren't we? <laughs> like I'll go to if we've got like a night just us two is usually like in, like takeaway, film, chill. Yeah, well, that's because we're, that's yeah, but that's we're, both, we're quite, quite busy. Like both and, quite busy and we're five years down the line, guys, all right? Like, <laughs> let's let's go back a bit. Okay. <laughs> if it was like, what would we do? Oh, see, day, for me, for me, it'd be like activity. Like something fun. Like, if it's someone you like don't really know, you haven't met before, like go and do something fun. Like the golf we did in London, that was sick. Yeah, that was really like, good. Stuff like that, or like pitch and park, like, crazy golf. Like don't go to like the cinema on your first date, because you want to like actually get to know someone. What was our first date, babe? We didn't go to the cinema. No, we were going to go to the cinema. We were going to go see the second Anchorman, and then but we, we realised realized both of us hadn't seen the first one. And we were just doing it so we could link up, basically. So instead, we'd met before, it wasn't like first date, like, hi. Huh? Nothing. What did you say? <laughs> no, what did you say? So what did we do then? We went to we my went house. We went to yours and watch. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh, we didn't do that. Huh? We watched We're the Millers, which is like our favourite film now. Right, well that's... Oh God. All the questions that I saved from the story, the better ones. So, um, well, I guess we'll just like time lapse the rest of this and you can work out whose is the best. Yeah? Let's do it. No, I'll say right there. <laughs> pam, 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 pumpkins wrapped up. Vote down below which one is cool. I'll show you a clip now of them in the dark because then they look proper. But yeah, decent, nice little QA, decent little pumpkin picking. Shout out for Beth coming on so it's not boring just me doing QA on my own. <laughs> if you do have a like the quick QAs, Make sure you leave this video a like, let me know down below, and we'll do them more often because they're good video fillers. Like yeah. I said, I didn't have a video this week, well, a weekly vlog, because we had the London vlog and the food challenge video, so I wanted to get a third one out. Got loads of videos this week. I'm all about this content. Mm -hmm. So make sure, like I say, if you like the video, smash that like button. If you did enjoy it, hit subscribe, and hopefully, see you in the next one. Peace out.